What are you lot? What are you lot doing lurking in the dark? Blimey. Well, I guess you're here for the. Uh, I take it you're here for the unboxing, are you? Right. Well, I was going to have a cup of coffee first, but um, was I can drink at the same time, drink my coffee at the same time, can't I? Right. Let's have a look at this. Um, let's have a look at this. Uh, this RC car then. It ain't nothing special. Um, we've all seen these before. Everyone's seen them before. But um, listen, this thing has cost me an arm and a leg, so I'm going to milk it for everything it's got. <laughs> all right. So we're going to have an unboxing, even though we don't really need to. But um, all right. Just uh, let me set everything up, and we'll get on with it. God, I can't believe you're here that early. Jesus, you're the sort of people that arrange to be somewhere. And you're there like six hours early in a tent camping outside, aren't you? Bloody blimey. Here we go then. Um, this one's got to be on the floor because it's too big to fit on the bench. But um, yeah, so it's uh, Rofen Racing, it says on the side. It all comes in a plain box. Um, long story short, bit of a story about this before I go because I always give a backstory on anything that I unbox whether it's second hand or brand new um i was looking through ebay and all that kind of stuff trying to find second hand ones um didn't really go to plan but that's a long story so i decided i had a chat with the kids and that and uh, we decided heavily influenced by me to um get something new and uh yeah i'll talk more about it in the in the behind the scenes video or we'll follow this one but um we'll keep this one just to a pure unboxing video for those of you out there that um, may be here to actually actually see an unboxing of this but I would have thought by now there's been so many of these that um, there would you know everybody knows what they're like when they come out of the box but you never know so we've got double box double boxed and um, opens up this way which is a little bit awkward Go. That's a bit better. So, oh, that's what we get. You can't see in there, can you? So that's what we get. That's what it looks like when you um, open it up for the very first time. And uh, we'll go through it. So you get an instruction manual. It's a starter's guide. Um, this is from the, the shop that I bought it from. RC models not sponsored in any way must point that out um, I did reach out to them for a, a sponsor but um, they weren't interested so I just bought it with my own money it's better that way anyway because um, I can say exactly what I want to say honestly without the fear of um, without the fear of being uh, you know upsetting anybody so yeah it's much better when you buy stuff with your own money. So anyway, you've got um, looks like instructions, parts, thing to put the wheels on and off, charger for the battery. Um, I'm going to charge that. There's a battery in there. No, nope. I'm going to charge that up with my fast charger in a minute. Anyway, you get a little fuel can. Lovely job. Uh, putting your petrol in. Bit of pet rolls. Bit of petrol. Um, oh, you know. For that, if if you thought that nitro was easy and simple, I tell you what, these the petrol ones are even easier and even more simpler. Um, that's just an invoice. Um, oh, look, we've got the the spoiler. Lovely job. Uh, you know, got some stickers. Oh, RC models. RC models stickers. Lovely. I wonder if they get them packed up and made for them or if they uh, repack them. I don't know, who knows. We've got the transmitter in here. Oh yeah, I was told. Aha, uh -huh, yes. I was told that these come with um, a different transmitter to, to what they used to. And it seems that they do. They come with a Flysky one now. Lovely job. That's brilliant. Um, quite happy with that actually. That's, that's really good news. Um, because they used to come with a really, really crappy transmitter. Um, and I was, you know, a bit sceptical about that. But they come with a good transmitter now. So I'm pleased about that. Um, oh, look, we've got the one of the wheels. 
Um, none of the wheels are on, but we have got all four, <laughs> which is a good start. It would be a bit crap if we didn't have all four, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, so, and then we got, um, well, there, there's the car anyway. Um, good thing about these is that they're nice and light, so. Yeah, they're nice and light. Uh, I always hear a lot of people they moan about one one fifth scale or petrol cars. Um, they moan about them and they say like they're too heavy. Um, you know, you can't just move them around. They're too heavy and all that rubbish. Well, the good thing about this particular one, at least, well, in my opinion. All of them. I mean, I don't think any of them are particularly heavy. Um, but this one is definitely nice and light. Let me put the wheels on, get it looking the way it's supposed to, and then um, we'll have a look at it, and we'll fire it up for the first time as well. One thing I want to point out, look, I'm um, just putting the wheels on, and um, let you notice here that they've got proper um, pins going through the axles there. Um, previous lower end um, petrol RC cars that I've purchased and used in the past didn't have this, this is a normal system they had some weird system with a grub screw kept failing, was no good, you couldn't even use the car properly so I'm very very pleased to see that system proper ones with actual pins, so that's a plus so one of the things is um, the instructions, this is the instruction sheet what they give you and uh, it doesn't appear to be for, um, well it is, it is, it's Baja 5B, um, but I've got the Q Shorty version, so, um, but this is the instructions, they tell you all the, all the bits and bobs there, that tells you what to do, plugging it in, charging it up, stopping the engine and all that, and then they've got parts list, it tells you how to assemble the whole buggy, all the way, you know, it's got the whole things there, and there's some more here, more parts. Um, installation instructions there. Um, so, yeah, you get these bits here to put the spoiler on. I've got to try and work out how to put the spoiler on now. Once I've put the spoiler on, I'll, uh, yeah, we'll try fire it up. Right, are you not? So, I've got batteries in the uh, <coughs> in the transmitter now. Turn that on. That comes on lovely. I haven't managed, I haven't charged the receiver up yet. It's raining outside as well. Um, but we have got some power. Throttle goes to full throttle goes to stick over. Steering goes most of the way. Um, I'm going to give that a full charge, but I just want to start it up, man. And uh, yeah, we'll see what exactly it's like. Um, so now we need a bit of petrol. I have got, I've got some petrol in this can, a little bit left, um, but I can't remember if it's bloody mixed or not. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour it into the little can that it comes with, and uh, it's really raining out there now. I'll pour some in here and then we'll about to see whether it's already mixed. If it ain't, I'll have to mix it up. But, um, yeah, I can't remember if it's mixed or not in here so we'll just we'll pour some in and see now now that's just neat unleaded in there so this one doesn't come with a little bottle of uh, two stroke oil a lot of the time uh, when you buy a two stroke uh, whatever it is, it's a bloody strimmer or, or if you buy a two stroke um, RC car they'll come with a little bottle of two stroke oil normally cheap crap but they, they do give you some but this don't. So we'll go through. What have we got here? We've got a bottle of that. Um, use that in the motocross bikes. Um, that'll be good enough. Blue. Nice bit of blue stuff. Or oh, I have got just general two stroke. Oh, that's engine oil. Oh, yeah, two stroke. Two stroke engine, it's uh, general um, cheapest stuff. Um, 
Oh man, I've got bottles and bottles of the stuff. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll use this. We'll use this blue stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, what does it say? Fifty to one, twenty-five to one. Right. I'll mix this up, and then we'll get back to it. I've um. I always run two strokes, really, really rich anyway. Um, I like to smoke, to be honest. Um, when I'm on the motocross track, um, <laughs> I always run the bikes really rich. Um, strimmers and lawn mowers, I run with loads of, um, loads of oil in them. And um, it's the same with uh, petrol RC cars. I run them as rich as you can imagine. Um, that's all the pepper I've got. So it is going to be rich because there's not quite enough pepper in there to cover that. But that'll be alright. That'll be fine. I certainly ain't going to be worrying about any of that. God, there's a lot of dirt in there. Bloody hell. There's a lot of dirt in there. I hope there's a filter. I hope we got a filter. Let's um I won't bother putting that in. Give it a mix up. It's gone everywhere, but that's alright. Good enough for me. There's a lot of dirt in that petrol, so um, I think there's probably a filter in line, so we'd be right. I would have thought. Pour this in the tank. Can you hear the rain out there? That is some rain and a half, man. I was going to go outside and give this a little bit of a run in, um, but now it's gone dark anyway. Plus, it's uh, pissing down with rain. Do with a little armor in this, really. Let it, um, what's it? Open that, let the air out. Open up this one, and then it will let the air come in. It should pour quicker. Oh, yeah. Not gonna put it all in. Oh, it's only got a little tank. It's only got a little diddy tank on it. That'd be alright. Well, there was, um, I heard something about the exhaust melts the bottom of the tank, so I might in the future um, put a little bit of um, um, that sticky heat shield stuff uh, on the bottom of the tank, but, you know, I've heard some people say that it does melt it and then you have, the petrol comes out all over the engine, and some people say that like, it don't, it's, it's totally fine, so it's one of them, isn't it, you know. Obviously, some people have the problem, some people don't. Um, I'm just going to see what happens, basically. Before the petrol comes out, then, well, one of them things, isn't it? So, here we go, then. Um, I'm not going to run it in or nothing in this video, if you can hear me over the rain. But uh, I'm just going to start it up and see what happens. Let's prime it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Plenty of primage. Stick the choke on. That button's like that. Let's get that down here. Now usually the tick overs are set quite high from the factory, so we'll see what's gonna happen. Might be high, it might not be. And we're definitely on tick over. Yes we are. Right, here we go.
bit better. Nice and low. Nice and low. They always set the tick overs up really high in the um, in the factories. They probably do it for bloody um, I don't know running in or whatever. But there's no need for it to be that high. I always lower them right down. They could go a little bit lower than that actually. Um, two strokes will tick over really low. But that sounds a tits, man. And I'll tell you what, that starts up really well. And um, I, ca I can't wait to run it to be honest. So something which I think is important to document and to note is um, it doesn't seem to say in the instructions, it doesn't seem to, it might do, I might have missed it, but it doesn't appear to say what um, type of battery is in the receiver. Um, it's already installed when you get the car, so um, well obviously to charge it up with a charger like this you need to know what settings to put it on. And you never know, sometimes manufacturers they throw a bit of a curveball and they put... Um, you know, Nikam cadmium bloody batteries in. Still these days, you never know, it could even be a lipo, you just don't know. Always best to check. And it's um, a nickel metal hydrate battery, and it's 2000 milliamps, so it's 2 amps. So, um, you know, and there's the thing. But I took off the cover and had a look at the battery, and it says that on the top of it. So, um, yeah, so any of you that are wondering what type of battery does the receiver have, so that you can charge it with your normal charger, rather than using the charger that it comes with, because that'll take a long time. Um, we're going to charge it up a bit faster with that. Um, you can stick it on a 2 amp charge, and um, yeah, so, lovely jubbly. So there we go, I've got the battery on charge now, that's having a good old charge in it. I like, I like the fact that they put the air filter there, that looks pretty mean. Um, you know, those of you that are a bit rough with your cars, you might find that that's a bit of a bad place for it because if you like to be a bit abusive and you know you, you take them in water and mud and all that kind of stuff which is fine it's your car do what you want with it um, but that'll get wet so you'll have to find some sort of sock to put on that um, some people call them outer wears that sounds a bit gay that does doesn't it but um yeah just you can find waterproof socks or whatever you want to call them to put over the air filter but that's a lovely place for it um, nice and easy to get on and off little clip there that comes off of there and uh, you can clean it, maintain that, no problem. Sometimes they make them difficult to get to. But um, in this case, I like that. That is very good. Um, fuel line comes out there, which is a bit random. Um, you've got the breather there. That, I don't know, that, that might be subject to being pulled off. Again, it depends how abusive and rough you are with your cars. Um, that might get snagged. What, you, you could easily reroute that, that would be no problem. Um, you could cut it down a bit, just pass it straight through there and into the carb there, and that way it won't be hanging around. I don't know why they make it so long, but that's not a big deal. That's no problem at all. That's, you can't mark it down for that. Um, I'll tell you what I, I do like about it. Um, now, that they, they, they call these tuned pipes. Um, you know, I'm a bit sceptical about the tuned part, um, but me coming from a background of motocross and, you know, all that kind of stuff, um, you know, and, and just high performance stuff, this is, obvious, this is obviously their take on a high performance exhaust. It sounds the absolute tits. Whether it will perform any good is a different story, but we shall definitely be testing that. Once this engine's ran in properly all the way, I'm going to be tuning it as much as I can, and we'll see how powerful it is. They equipped it with a wheelie bar, so it's obviously going to be doing some wheelies. Now, I'm fully aware, you lot, before you lot start pointing this out, I'm 100% fully aware that this buggy has been out for many years. Um, this particular one has got stamped on the box that it was made in 2022. Um, so that was about f five months ago. Because um, it was made in December. So I know they've been out for a while. There's loads of videos of these on YouTube. I know that. And so you can just go and see what they can do. And I've seen there was a kid had one of these down the park uh, a few months ago. But it was completely destroyed. He'd abused it like hell and it was destroyed. Um, so you couldn't really get an idea of what it was like. It was running like crap and all. Um, but, do you know what? 
I'm really, I've got high hopes for this. This so far, looking at it, looks really good. And um, I've got a funny feeling that I'm gonna be recommending this to you lot in a few weeks time once I've given it a good old test. Having said that, my idea of testing isn't to abuse the hell out of it and destroy it. So it depends what your idea of testing is. And also, if you, if you like I say, I'm not sponsored at all, um, but so far, this RC models. I've never done business with them before, but um, I've just found out from chatting to a friend that they give this transmitter um, for free. They just throw it in the box um, and it's already bound up and everything. So, um, looks like the batteries have gone flat already though. That's not good, is it? That was a packet of brand new bloody batteries. Anyway, um, yeah, they, they throw this transmitter in for free, which is very handy. Because I was actually going to buy one, um, but now this has turned up with it, I won't need to. You can link up to 10 different cars to this one transmitter. Very, very handy. Um, so if you do buy from RC models, you'll get this transmitter. If you buy from anywhere else, you'll get the other crap one that it comes with. Um, all the videos I've ever seen of this car, they come with a different transmitter, and not as good as that. That's a good transmitter. Um, I had one of these briefly, it was second hand. Um, it was a bit destroyed, it was all scratched up, and um, the screen didn't work, but I like the transmitter itself, so I'm very pleased that it come with that. So, RC Models is getting a big fat tick so far. So is this car, at the moment, anyway. And don't forget, you get your, your thing there, spanner thing for getting the wheels on and off, your stickers to put on your spoiler, your bind plug and your aerial tube, um, you get a um, turnbuckle spanner, which is handy, um, a load of allen keys, a little um, spanner there for doing very small things, you get a spark plug spanner and you get your charger which will take eight, absolutely hours to charge uh, USB oh look it says on the charger there it says on the charger that it's nickel metal hydrate charger so I could have just looked at the charger to find out the uh, type of battery but that wouldn't have told me um, how many amps the battery is so I needed to look at it anyway to find out that it was 2,000 milliamps or 2 amps but uh, you could use that and you've got your parts and your instructions yeah um, yeah very good so far very good unboxing I reckon this is going to be hopefully a success a lot better than the other experiences that I've had with this type of buggy um, so yeah those of you that have been watching the channel for more than nine years it's about nine years ago those of you that have been watching this channel for more than that length of time, you'll know what happened the last time I'd, I ventured into this realm of buggies from this part of the world, shall we say. I can't say too much because I'll get in trouble. But um, yeah, thanks for watching you lot. Um, if, you wanna, well, if you do want to see the, you know, the, the, the running in of this, um, I'll explain. Because a lot of people tend to baby them, they panic and they worry. Um, so if you want to see the running in of this engine um, and all of that and the testing plus the actual end product the review do I recommend it I don't know yet stick around think about subscribing and not only this one I also get a lot of second hand cars and nitros and electrics but mainly nitro to be honest um, and I mend them fix them up um, tell you lot how to do it what's going on all the help and advice and um, sell them on and keep going around in circles so if you're interested in that kind of stuff think about subscribing and i'll catch you lot later on thanks for watching